My name is Larry Ace Williams. Uh, I'm from Chicago, Illinois. And how long have you been making music? How long have you been, I guess, not even just making music, but how, like, when did you start, you know, getting into singing? When did you, when, when did you first find your interest in music? Uh, quite a while ago. Um, I would have to say during, you know, my adolescent years. To say, pay me like. 12 or so, 12, yeah, about 12 years old. And how long ago did you do, move, uh, move here to Madison? Uh, I moved to Madison uh, 2003, yeah, 2003, so probably like 15, 16 years ago. And so tell us about some of the things you do as a musician. Uh, well, I've done a, I've done a lot of things, but uh, as of recent and current events, uh, I basically have my own music production company, which is So Lethal. So Lethal is uh, geared to help out individuals who lack the, uh, let's just say, uh, way of recording, um, emphasis on like how to record, what they should be looking for and the style that they're doing. Um, it's basically just, um, I would say, artist development. It's in, a, it's in a range of artist development because most artists really are just writers and they don't really have any inquiry about um, running a soundboard, running micro when the microphone is like uh, hot and all those type of things and editing on certain softwares and DAWs. Um, so that's where I come into play and that's where the artist development happens because then I take on that role of overseeing like all things that would encumber the artists because they just want to focus on their artistry. And you've been playing, uh, describe what it is that, I mean you've been playing at parks over the last few oh, years. Oh yeah, as far as well as like being in the community. Uh, yeah, being in the community, I've played at parks, um, some of the local parks here in Madison, Wisconsin. Um, I've also done plenty of the open mics before I like, decided to become like a person who would help other people out and recording their own music and doing things like that. So um, parks, venues, I've opened up for a few people I can't mention right now I, or I just choose not to mention because I, you know, co coattail riding is something for those who have less of something that they're working towards and you know maybe later on but just do your research but you've done some done some <laughs> different local venues yes i've uh done things at the orpheum uh which is a staple here in madison wisconsin um at the majestic no not the majestic but uh what is it called uh over there on um east washington the silly no 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 that's the new building which i will just let's keep that on low uh, but uh, uh, I forget what it's called right now, um, but it's in that little brass ring area. Ah, the High Noon. High Noon, exactly. High Noon. So it's a pretty big venue. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else? Uh, oh, wait, liquid. Wait. The, 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 uh, the, you, and you also do a lot of really cool video stuff. Um, the, uh, the thriller style video that you made. Um, where can people find that one? Oh, right on my YouTube channel, which is once again just so lethal, S O space L E T H A L. Um, and yeah, that was. I'm a big Michael Jackson fan, and a lot of my energy when I sing a little bit doesn't directly derive from him, but because of the natural, um, the natural, untainted sound of being original um, just encompassed itself into my brain. And so I just, I just really kind of like go after that kind of sound, that, un that unique sound, and not a lot of people who can do it. I mean, like there's people like um, The Weeknd. Um, I mean, that's one of the bigger names that I can mention that really like grabs that sound and works it a lot where you'd be like, whoa, that dude like brings up that nostalgic feeling. Um, but yeah, that is more pop because I, I make all kind of music like rap, uh, EDM, uh, electronic dance music and stuff like that. But when it comes to singing, I just feel like it's a certain voice that goes along with that. And yeah, so when I created that Thriller video, it was just 100% uh, to 
give respects to one of the pop icons, one of the biggest pop icons, which most people consider him the king of pop. Um, and not that I don't, but you know, I don't use the word king a lot. So, um, but definitely iconic is one of the words that would um, move with me with that one. So yeah, I just kind of like did that for him and myself and the people around me. And thanks to all my friends who came up, out to check that video. And it's called Another Thriller. And only reason why I use that title is not to take Thriller, the Michael Jackson single, to another level. It's being directly uh, rudimentary as the word. And Thriller means telling a scary story or something that derives to give chills. So here's another Thriller. Before uh, I ask my next question, uh, please go to uh, the button on the side and hit subscribe to this channel. Um, who else uh, besides Jackson was an uh, inspiration uh, musically growing up? I mean, everybody, period. You know, I grew up in an era where everybody made a lot of good natural sounding music. And not that people in this era don't, but I feel like a lot of people are <sighs> makeshifts of something that worked and is working. So they are afraid to step out of that boundary because it, it would be too jarring for the viewers and listeners to accept because of a certain thing that is being portrayed at the moment. When back then it was more just about getting in the studio, being alone, and coming up with something that was original for yourself and then presenting that to the world and then making other artists work hard at their craft, not work harder at trying to become you. Thanks for watching everybody and if you want to help support more videos like this please go to the PayPal link attached and donate $1. Thank you.